Hey guys, it's Christian from Seven Gaming Network, and I'm here with another Star Wars Destiny Tactica. Uh, and this time we're going light side. Uh, all the other ones previously I've posted, I uh, realised were villains. So we got uh, we got ourselves a cheeky little hero here. This is the plucky little Padawan learner. Now, um, I would say this one is not much of a learner because this is a character that um, well has schooled me a couple of times in recent matches uh, this is a great little character a bit of a surprise to me actually um, so let's have a look at this one uh, first I'll talk about the card and then I'll talk through um, uh, perhaps the, the ways in which we can use this character what their role is um, uh, spoiler it's pretty straightforward um, and then also uh, tactics for playing against them and what kind of deck list you might see uh, Padawan good in so uh, let's have a look at these sides first of all then. So uh, you'll see that um, the Padawan has got three melee damage sides and they're all black, they're all straight up, there's no modded here. That is brilliant. Okay, a one, a one and a two. Um, we've got a 50% chance of rolling damage straight up with this dice. We really like that. That's a, 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 an excellent thing, especially when it's only eight points. Uh, for this character. Um, now what this allows you to do is if you've got any upgrades that are going along with this character or if you are uh, relying upon using things like uh, lightsabers and the staffs and uh, and who knows what we're going to get in future expansions any any modded melee damage this Padawan character is making those much more likely to go off. So what we see with, uh, with this character is a really consistent damage output and that is not to be underestimated in a game where what we're trying to do really is is do our best to create a consistent uh, situation when we go into a game we've got our strategy and we want to recreate that on a um, on a consistent basis a side with three black melee uh, is a, a dice with three black melee sides is really strong uh, simply because of the massive effect it has outside and of in and of itself uh, on your other characters and your other characters upgrades on this character's upgrades um, it brings those modded sides uh, much more likely to, uh, to to come to pass really great now I'd almost be happy with that but the fact that we then have a focus side as the fourth side is really almost taking the mickey with this character this is a really strong dice this focus side um, if we're talking about trying to consistently bring damage and consistently bring a state of affairs into play, i.e. melee damage on the table, the fact that then the fourth side is a focus on a die that only costs eight points, as this is really, this is super excellent. It, although it's slightly slower, yes, you can almost regard this as definitely meaning there's going to be that black melee side enabling all the other modded sides that you're probably going to play alongside a character like this. Um, so the Padawan, not only are they regularly bringing the damage themselves, even if they miss their own damage, they're probably going to ensure that one of your other characters does more damage. Or whatever it is that you're trying to do with your deck. You know, if you find yourself in a bit of a pinch, of course, uh, then that focus could mean a couple of shields from a Qui-Gon or something like that. But ultimately, this is a character that is really smoothing out the consistency of your deck. Uh, and we really like that. Now, then you also have the resource side and a blank. So, fairly standard to finish it out. Uh, so, it's those first four sides that we're most excited about. Um, but really, in the decks that you play this, this character in, you're just happy with all of all of those sides that uh, with all f five of those six sides we're happy with now if that weren't enough this ability i would just have a read of it it's simple it's straightforward just like this character is while this character does not have an upgrade the cost to attach a weapon to it's decreased by one so our lightsabers now are only two resources to play onto this character that's super good if we've got it binds all things out, they cost one. A one cost lightsaber, in, in, which is much more likely, of course, to do its damage because it's got that plus two um, melee side because the Padawan itself has got a 50% chance of rolling the black damage. Um, it's really, really excellent. Uh, so, 
um, a, a Ray staff becomes free <laughs> because it's two and that's reduced by one and we've got uh, it binds all oh no it binds all things of course is is blue upgrades and ray staff is actually neutral ignore that ray staff is one but even that is still super solid because it means that, that we are going to be very efficiently attaching all these upgrades to this paddle one character now in terms of role um uh, just taking into account a couple of those things and looking at that ability as well because the ability plays into the role uh, this character is there to bring consistent damage early on you're going to want to try and get that cheap lightsaber on or that, that cheap melee upgrade on there um, because uh, then they're going to be able to consistently bring the damage in, in the games I've played um, with and against Padawans they just bring really consistent pressure it's a little bit relentless and a little bit scary um, and so that's what you're looking for out of the characters. They're straightforward, they're just going to bring damage. Now, of course, because they are um, a, a non-unique character, they're more likely to be targeted by your opponents. They're only 7 health, uh, which is the one big drawback of the Padawan. Um, they're only 7 health, and so they're more likely to die quicker. But that's fine when you paid 1 to get your lightsaber onto her because of her ability and it binds all things. And then it's going to redeploy to the other character, which means that targeting and getting rid of this Padawan, whilst it's really necessary because they're consistently putting this damage out on the table, it just makes it that bit more painful that they're having that very cheap lightsaber that they paid hardly anything for anyway. They're then getting it redeploying to one of the other blue character, one of the other characters that you're playing alongside with the Padawan. You can see how excellent this character is. They're really great. So let's have a look maybe at some of the deck lists then that, that we could um, find the Padawan in. Um, a, a great list uh, currently is, um, and we're only in the Awakenings booster set of course, uh, is um, is Ray, Elite Ray and two Padawans. Um, so you, you, you're meeting the, the magic four dice to start with. Um, and the reason this is very good it has got really good damage potential. Ray, of course, has the plus two modded side, or with two Padawans either side of her, who are bringing this 50% chance of rolling that black melee. You're going to be rolling these, these black melee, and then it's focus. And so somewhere along the line, those dice are going to be bringing a black melee and enabling everything else. Um, uh, and what you find with this deck is that it, it brings really good consistent damage because two Padawans bring good consistent damage. You can cheaply upgrade them. Uh, Ray brings some resources anyway with her dice. Um, and, uh, and of course you can make the most of Ray's modded sides. Uh, and it's not infrequent for that deck to be regularly throwing five or six melee damage a turn at an opponent. That's really hard to deal with when it's uh, against Hero Blue and there's probably quite a lot of shields coming out, there's quite a lot of control going on. Um, it feels like you're, you're trying to battle all elements. There's, some, there's a bit of control there, there's very consistent, quick damage coming out. And that's the other big advantage of Ray, two Padawans. Ray's fast, you're playing those upgrades uh, and then she's being able to, uh, to take her extra action uh, and the tempo of that deck is, is really quick and, and fast and lots of damage coming at you uh, and it can be quite tough to, to manage to control. Now the other one um, is actually a, a very different feel deck I think um, and that's, that's Qui-Gon and two Padawans. Well it can be a different feel, it can still come fast with the damage because the two Padawans if they've got two lightsabers on you know you're looking at p potentially five damage from from each of them uh, for two resources that's 10 damage for two resources that's really not to be sniffed at and that's without what Qui-Gon's bringing to the table um, so uh, however the difference with that one is that Ray can be quite easy to take out uh, and so you're kind of relying upon speed and it's a bit more aggro Ray and two Padawans but uh, Qui-Gon and, and two Padawans um, is a slower feel, uh, it's got a more controlly feel, um, but it has that ability to then really uh, suddenly bring the damage out of nowhere uh, and they suddenly repost three shields uh, and, uh, and the, the 
two Padawans do three damage each and, and suddenly there's a lot, a lot of damage coming at you in a bit of a burst. Um, and of course Qui-Gon is, is very good sustainability. And one of the weaknesses of your Padawans is that they only have those seven health. And of course if you're playing with, uh, those, with Qui-Gon, you tend to think about having a deck that's able to generate quite a lot of shields and that can keep your Padawans alive. Um, so, uh, in terms of playing against Padawans, well, it's pretty simple, you need to kill them. There's not really anything clever you're going to do. Um, I would say things like spot removal become less useful uh, because most of those decks that you're playing them in, well obviously the two lists I just talked about, you have two Padawans in. Um, and so it, uh, it's very hard if you're using something like, like I've played a deck with Night Sisters in, which is great at controlling individual dice. Uh, or individual dies, but the difficulty is that w with the paddle ones, um, they're able to they're able to have so uh, many of the black sides come out. Two of them. There's focus. It's it's hard to keep them all off their black melee sides, uh, and so they're going to be able to force the damage through. So unless you've got um, cards that affect a number of dice all in one go, your scrambles, your um, disturbance in the forces, you um, feel your angers, you're those kind of cards, it's really really difficult to control their damage. Um, so primary them, get them off the table quickly is really the only way and you're just gonna have to bite the bullet when their lightsaber redeploys. There's not a lot you can do about it, that's just how the game is balanced at the moment. So there you have it, so there's the Padawan, a great little character for only 8 points with a fantastic die and a really great ability uh, and fitting in really nicely into a, into a, a very, uh, very good uh, hero um, force uh, pie. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, um, if you've got any extra ideas or, or comments or hints and tips that you've thought of, please feel free to stick them on, on, the, on the comments below. I want these Tactica series to be a bit of a learning resource for people who are new to the game or trying to pick up the game um, and it will help them to get an idea about how these characters work and play and what kind of deck list they might see them in. Um, so please do post up if you think I've missed anything. Um, anyway, uh, until next time, keep playing Destiny.